And a very warm welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast show on this Friday morning. It is Expresso on SABC3 once again. Thank you so much for choosing to start your day off with us. Now, Graham has been very, very excited this morning to talk to these two gentlemen. These are, these are probably two of the guys that you might not want to pick a fight with next time around. And that's why we left it to Graham to brave it, sitting down and chatting to them. The ultimate martial arts spectacular hits South African shores tomorrow as the last fighter standing main event gets underway at the Ticket Pro Dome in Johannesburg with a 1 million rand prize purse on the line for those champion fighters on the night. And there is far more at stake, though, than just that title of being the last fighter standing. There is pride on the line. Now, two South Africans gunning for that top prize. Josh Ignatovic and Rushta Malik are here in studio to give us the lowdown on what promises to be an unforgettable night of fighting. Josh Rushta, welcome to it, guys. Don't look at all nervous. I can see the minds are in the zone there. Um, last fighter standing, Rushta, this is quite different. There is a massive prize person individually fighting for around 200,000 rand in cash, which is amazing. What sets this kind of fight night apart from your traditional mixed martial arts? Well, definitely the rules, because we're only allowed 20 seconds on the ground and then we stand up. So um, if you're a ground fighter, it's quite difficult for you to, you know, dominate a particularly stand-up fighter. So you only have your 20 seconds and then they stand you up and then you have to stand with someone that's probably a kickboxer or a kung fu fighter or a black belt in karate or professional boxer such as myself. So I, do, I definitely like the, the, the rules dynamic of it. Well, it's exciting. I'm going to call it the IPL of martial arts. Um, and to take nothing away from the explosive um, level of talent that we have there, but I love the fact that there is a traditional element as well. Josh, your background, Taekwondo, does it feel like you're representing your martial arts as much as you're representing your, your country and your, your gym? Uh, most definitely. You know, we come in there as, as all different martial artists, uh, everyone giving their own bit uh, to the game. So, yeah, Taekwondo, I definitely feel like I'm representing that. Uh, so it's fullest, yeah? So we're going to see lots of kicks, man. Definitely. But on a <laughs> night like this, you're not only preparing for one fight, you've got multiple fights, you're fighting against multiple disciplines, um, there is a whole different energy, and you've got that added pressure of, of being that last fighter standing. What, what is it about this format that you have to... How do you prepare yourself for this, Rooster? Well, um, well, for myself in particular, I'm a professional boxer, and I used to be a kickboxer. So that's, that's definitely, you know, my aim is to keep the fight standing. But if you're going to go to the ground, you're going to get hurt there as well. So the training is really, really intense, especially because we're fighting more than one fight in one night. So it's, it's three rounds, the first semi-final, and if you make it to the final, it's five rounds. So it's eight rounds in total within one hour of each other. And you're fighting, like, in my... The girls that I'm fighting, one's a professional boxer. She's got 37 fights. Yeah. The other one's an undefeated kickboxer. The other one's an undefeated jiu-jitsu fighter so the level is quite high as it should be yeah. as it should yeah. be if you're going to call something last fighter standing then best you get the best fighters in the land josh what do you know about your circuit what are you expecting from your bouts um for my bouts i know the lightweight division is definitely a very competitive division it's fast man yeah. yeah uh very good guys in that division it's been like that throughout the world so my guys come into my events are all tough guys you know k1 fighters muay thai guys um, so I've got a, a, a really awesome group coming in to, to compete for that belt, eh? So where, where do we sit in our week of preparations? Uh, clearly, physically, you guys are at that, that, that finish line now, but this has got to be a mental process. What, what goes through your mind now on the eve of fight night, Rooster? Well, the worst thing is right now is, like, there are some nerves. It must be, yeah. Uh, some nerves, but they are starting to subside because it's more excitement leading up to the last, you know, the hours before that bell goes. But uh, to be honest, the worst thing besides all the training and the getting up at 4 a.m. to run and, you know, dealing with the trainer that's smacking against the head with pads, <laughs> besides that, it's the, it's the weight drop that's, like, yeah. the worst thing. So right now it's just cutting weight and making sure you get on the scale on weight. And I just want a glass of water. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll have to speak to your trainer. I don't know if you're allowed. They've both got cling wrap underneath there. Now we know that, um, you guys have put in every ounce of training that you possibly could do. You're coming from both incredible training camps as well, and you're representing not only your martial arts, mm. but South Africa in a sense. Here. We want to send a message to the rest of the world that this is the standard of our fighters, and you guys are doing a brilliant job. Thank you so much. I just got so nervous talking to these two, Josh Rooster. Thank you so much for stopping by. I wish them and the rest of the fighters on a 
an incredible fighting bull. All the best of luck for tomorrow night's competition. You can catch both Josh and Rushta in action tomorrow at the Ticket Pro Dome where they'll fight it out against uh, some of the best in the land for that title of Last Fighter Standing.